Okay. So welcome to a video from sickmaths.co.uk where you'll find lots of videos about GCSE maths. This topic is the nth term. It's just about finding rules to find any number in a pattern. These are examples of pattern. These three rows. One, two, another row. There you go, another pattern. And these are your nth terms. These are the rules that work out any number in these patterns. And what is n? n just tells you where you are in the pattern. One, two, three, a hundred, hundredth number in the pattern, for example. Now, look at this pattern, 2, 4, 6. You know it's a 2 times table. And the rule for that is just 2n, because if you had n is 1 and doubled it, you'd get 2. If you had n equals 2, you doubled it, you get 4. It's quite obvious that 2n just gives you the 2 times table. And that way, once you know that your rule is 2n, you just have to double the n bit, i.e. where you are in the pattern, so double 100, you get the you get 200. So the hundredth number in this pattern here is 200. And the same with 3n. 3n gives you a 3 times table, and the hundredth number is 300. But it's a bit more confusing with this one, 258. What is the nth term? Well, you can see it here, but I'm going to tell you how to get it. It's going up by 3, as you can see. Yeah, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8. But it's not the 3 times table, because the 3 times table looks like this. It's 1 less than the 3 times table. So it's 3n minus 1. 3n means 3 times table, 3n minus 1 means 1 less than the 3 times table. And so, once you've got this rule, you say, I want to know the hundredth number. So you put 100 in there. You go 3 times 100 minus 1 is 299. I've worked out the hundredth number in this pattern. I've worked out the nth term and the hundredth term. Let's move on to the next question. It's actually the same thing, but uh, just written differently and I don't want you to get confused when you come to question so uh, here's another pattern 5, 7, 9, 11 and it's going up by 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 so it's like the 2 times table this time uh, but the 2 times table doesn't look like this the 2 times table begins with 2 not 5 so this is 3 more than the 2 times table that's why I wrote 2n plus 3, the 2 times table plus 3. That's the nth term. What about the 20th term? Well, you work out the 20th term from the nth term. I say 2 times 20, because I want to know the 20th term, 2 times 20 plus 3 equals 43. The 20th term in this pattern, 5, 7, 9, 11, is 43.